This problem reads that eight sprinters competed in the 100 meter dash. The following data set represents the times each sprinter ran. So here are the eight times ran by the eight sprinters. And what we have to do is find the average or the mean time it took the players to run the race. So the first thing that we have to do with the data set when finding the mean is to add up the numbers of that data set. So let's um, list those numbers and line up the decimals so we can get a total. So we have 10.98, 10.92, and we have 11 and 47 hundredths, 11.5 or 11 and a half. We also have 11 and 23 hundredths, 11 and 98 hundredths, and last we have 11 and 1 tenth. All right, so when you're adding numbers with decimals in them, remember that you have to have the decimal points lined up and then drop that decimal point straight down. And if you have any blank spaces in the problem, you can just fill those voids with zeros. All right, let's start by adding up this column right here. Now what I like to do is group numbers together that have a sum of 10 because that makes our totaling just a little bit easier. So we have an 8 right here and a 2 right here. That's 10. So I'm going to group those two numbers together. We have a 7 and a 3 right here. That is another group of 10. And we have an 8 and a 2 right here. So we just found three groups of 10. And three groups of 10 is 30. So we can put a 0 right here and carry the 3. Okay, once again, I'm going to try to find um, numbers that are divisible by 10, either groups of 10 or group, groups of 20. And one thing I noticed right off the bat is we have a 9 here and a 9 here, which is 18. But if we add that 2 to that, that would be 20. And right here, we have 10. So we can add that to our 20, which is 30. And then we can add 9 to that, which is 39. 2 more would be 41. And that 3 at the top would make 44. So that column has a total of 44. So we put a 4 here and carry a 4 here. So I'm just going to start with this 4 we carried at the top and add one more to that, which is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's put a 0 right here, carry the 1, and then add this column. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So the total amount of time between the eight runners is 90.4. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this total and divide it by 8. And the reason we divide it by 8 is because you always divide by the total amount of numbers that you added together to get that total. So let's take 90 and 4 tenths and divide that by 8. Now notice that we have a decimal on the inside or in the dividend. And when you only have a decimal on the inside and not on the outside, just raise your decimal straight up. That's where it's going to stay in your answer. And 8 can be divided into 9 one time. 1 times 8 is 8, leaving us with 1. And next we bring down the 0 and divide 8 into 10, which it can fit in one time. 1 times 8 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Then we bring down the next digit, which is a 4. And then we divide our divisor of 8 into 24, which can be divided inside there exactly three times. So the average time it took each sprinter to run the 100-meter dash was 11 and 3 tenths seconds.